Hey guys, welcome to July of my creative year. This month our topic is tips and our prompt this month is favorite go-tos. So like last month, I really had a lot of fun building on a page over the month, over the three weeks. So we're going to do that again and I'm going to start with um, a background that I can draw and sketch on. So I think that means I'm going to, and, and this paper is kind of thin because it's a moleskin um, like planner diary thing. So that means I don't want to use watercolor because it doesn't really do well. I don't want to use crayon because they're hard to write over. So I think I'm going to use like some watered down smeary acrylic paint. So let me get some colors. I'll be right back. So I've got a baby wipe and I've got some paints. And I've got the Dina Wakely Media Paint. I'm going to start with my favorite color, of course, turquoise. I'm going to just put a little dot, a few little dots. And then I'm going to take my baby wipe. And I'm going to just spread it out over the pages. I want to have it be, have color, but I want it to be thin so I can still see the background. And then I'm gonna take another color of blue, cause you know I really love blue. This one's called Ocean. And also with it being thin like this, it should dry fairly quickly. Okay, and then I'm going to take one more color, but what color will it be? Will it be a bright color or a muted color? I kind of want to go with muted. Let's, let's mix one. Unless I have one in, no I don't. <laughs> I was going to say, unless I have one in another paint. Uh, not readily at hand, but this is uh, magenta and then I'm gonna mix that with a little bit of buff to just kind of gray it down and mute it a bit it's a little bright for me for what I want to do on the page at least for this first week so I'm gonna just get a clean spot of the baby wipe I'm still awfully bright Neighbor dogs are barking. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so I'm gonna take my baby wipe wrapped fingertip. You don't need fancy tools to do art journaling, people. You really don't. You can just use basic, simple things. This is a piece of window screening. that I found in the garage when we were cleaning. And the nice thing about baby wipes is that you can just do this. So I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then we'll be right back and continue on with our page. Okay, this first week the prompt is tips. I could of course give it literally and like the review video give you some um, art tips, but I'm not gonna take it that way. Um, instead, we're gonna do something else. I'm gonna do a little sketch of some of my favorite tools. Um, I've got, let's grab a pencil, um, a couple different kinds of pen, and we're gonna start with a pencil. So think of the tips of your art tools, right? Loose, sketchy marks 
And if you're worried about not being able to sketch on your journal, then there's nothing wrong with tracing or collaging the images down. That is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So do it however you feel works for you. And don't make them all the same height either. I think it's more interesting if they're sort of dancing up and down the page. Um, think of, you know, movement in your page. Of course, one of my favorite tools, a paint paintbrush. Okay, and then let's do a fountain pen. I do love my fountain pens. I should probably have these actually on my face to do this. There we go. And then the last one, of course, that I want to do is a ballpoint pen because that's my favorite, one of my favorite tools. I almost said favoritist. Is that even a word? I don't think that's a word. So think of tips outside the box. Of course, you could journal um, in your uh, about your favorite art tips. You could journal about your favorite places to get tips, like Pinterest. You could actually do like I'm doing and do the tips of your favorite art tools. Think outside the box. And of course, if you have art tips that you want to share with the group, um, we're all about that. So please, by all means, share your favorite tip. I would love to see you all doing that this week. My favorite tip, of course, is practice, practice, practice. I hope that you find some th find this interesting and it gives you some ideas of what you can do. Um, what are the favorite tips of your go-to supplies? 
Um, and if, do you have any tips that you want to share in the group, art tips that you want to share in the group this month? Maybe some favorite go-to supplies that you don't see other people using. Let us know what they are. Let's start some discussion and let's share, especially if they're budget friendly, because we're all, you know, trying to stay in some kind of a budget. Um, so I would love to see what you do. We're going to be building on our page this month and creating something new and unique and interesting, I think. And um, I hope you join us all on that journey. Um, if you're not a member of the Facebook group, but you'd like to be, um, you can join it in using the link in the description below. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.